Hello, what's up my people and welcome to another episode of the Big Fish Africa. Today we are focusing on the tragedies of border border operators since the president announced the national crackdown of border border operators starting from Nairobi, which was announced on Tuesday, the now which was the International Women's Day. After the incidents along Forest Road of the female motorist who was sexually harassed by border border operators, hundreds of border border operators are now paying the price. We've seen several videos are trending on social media now our police officers are harassing innocent border border operators even without their consent, even re without requesting for document documentation. Several border border operators are, are now seeing our police officers as enemies due to what they are doing to them. We've seen border border motorcycles being loaded on vehicles, bins of motorcycles on police stations. This pictures and these photographs are being circulating on social media we can see them uh, we see how border borders are being traveled are being carried by police officers uh, let's see some clips some of the clips that uh, have been circulating on social media now border border operators are being operated are being uh, mishandled by our police officers and our policemen Woo! Right. Oi, oi. We had our policemen to use the right measures to arrest our border, border operators because as much as we need reforms in this sector, in this border border business, we also need them to stay safe because they are citizens which are being depended on by several families in this country because we have an estimated of more than 1 million border border operators in the country. So, we understand it's a business that is being depended by very many Kenyans in this country and uh, we urge our government to take the right measures and to urge our policemen, our police bosses to stop mishandling our, police, uh, our border border operators because we know as well, as we understand that a border border operator is only the body of the equipment he is traveling with and as, uh, as soon as he, get, he gets an accident is most of the time is the, is the end of him he gets broken he gets hurt and we've seen several incidences where, where border border operators are escaping in a very dangerous way in the fear to be arrested by the police and these police are relentlessly running after these border border operators very severely and very in a very dangerous way as much as we need our border border operators to get reforms and to get reformed to avoid this hooliganism, we also need them to be safe, we also need them alive because they are depended by depended on by several people in the country. Since the president announced this crackdown, several border border operators are being hospitalized. Others are even on these clips we've seen, uh, most of them are even uh, admit losing their lives because of uh, some injuries. We've seen police officers even fighting border border operators in a very dangerous way. We need our border border operators to be safe as much as we need reforms. And uh, as the C Interior, Cabinet Sec Interior Security Cabinet Secretary Fred Matiangi, Dr. Fred Matiangi announced the other day, he also said that he has also participated in the purchase of border border in his village and he understands the way this business runs. And uh, if at all the uh, the gracious like Matiangi understands how this business runs, we call upon him to instruct his boys to use the right ways to arrest our border border operators. Because we need, not all border border operators are in the wrong side. 
not all Bora Bora operators are hooligans. Yes, in the past we've seen Bora Bora operators have burnt down uh, motorist cars, have burnt down drivers' lorries and trucks, have burnt, has, have destroyed businesses around. But uh, not all Bora Bora operators are on the wrong side. But we had, we, as much as we need reforms, we also had the Bora Bora, Bora operators, as the government has now made Bora Bora operations uh, license registration free. So if you are a Bora Bora operator and you are watching this clip, kindly go and register to get your license. Can, can go and get your, your license and go and get your insurance cover so that uh, you can be in the safe side. Because the president said that uh, every Bora Bora operator without a license and without uh, an insurance cover is going to be arrested and the best, that business will be at a standstill. We understand that Bora Bora operators without these documents are now uh, have now stopped doing the business and they have kept their border borders at home to avoid this arrest by the police stations and uh, this business is now becoming uh, is now becoming expensive you know very well this these guys help us help, help us in day day to day living so if we make this business so hard to be operated how will Kenyan survive if these border 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 operators now start seeing our police officers as enemies Will there be security in this country? Will there be peace in this country? What if, if any border border operator around Nairobi, when they see a police officer, they just escape? Uh, what if they, they get knocked down by motorists? What will be the lives uh, of border border operations? So, we urge our Kenyans to be vigilant. We urge border border operators to take the right measures to do and uh, to be safe. To avoid this, this uh, misconduct between the police and uh, the border border operators, I also urge our policemen, which are uh, which are should be very diligent in arresting our people. Uh, we need them alive. We need these people because uh, we need this business to run. You uh, also police officers also depend on this business. So we need the right measures to be taken so that our police, our border border operation, our operators and border border business should be a right business to run and also should be a safe business. The right, be, the right measures be taken by the government and uh, we avoid these clashes being seen between border border operators and our policemen. This is the Big Fish Africa. If you've not subscribed, kindly consider subscribing because a lot more is coming on human interests and that we are going to talk more about these stories. We are going to analyze them in a very diligent way. Uh, we are going to discuss. Let us. Uh, Give your views on your on the comment section on what should be done on what the government should do uh, apart from this uh, Fracas we've seen between border border operators and our policemen around Nairobi In the meantime, if you're not subscribed, kindly subscribe And uh, comment and subscribe your view uh, in the down in the comment section And let's meet in the next one. Bye. Bye